There's a true story of a heart surgeon who removed the heart of his patient, made the necessary repairs, and then took the heart and put it back into his patient's uh, chest cavity. Once uh, he did this, he started to gently massage um, the woman's heart, trying to get it to come back to life and beat again. But it was, wasn't working. And so he tried a little bit longer and a little bit longer. And after more intensive massaging, it still wasn't working. So he bowed down to where his, his lips were right next to the unconscious patient's ears. And he spoke to his patient and he said, this is your surgeon. Your heart has been repaired. The operation went perfectly. Now, tell your heart to beat again. And within seconds, the patient's heart started to beat again. Now, this is pretty miraculous, but that's the way God created our bodies. To some extent, we can tell our bodies what to do. And I got thinking that if that's something that we can do physically, then we ought to be able to tell our minds to to operate in a different way. And when we're talking about dealing with anxiety, I should be able to, at times, be able to talk myself out of being anxious. There's a scripture in Psalm 42, 5 that says, Why are you so downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. And that's what this comes down to, that we need to place our hope in God, believe that he can come through. And if that's the case, when those times of anxiety come, let this be yet another secret or another tool for you to deal with anxiety. I believe that with God's help, you can talk yourself into a, a more of a place of peace. Next week, we're going to talk a little bit more about this and, uh, and, and in thinking the way that God wants us to. But for now, uh, just think about that and maybe try it the next time your anxiety starts to get uh, control over you. See if you can take back control. Say a prayer, give it over to God, put your hope in Him, and then start thinking positively and tell your mind to start trusting in God.